Uh, Jared Martin, employee 6348. <laughs> 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 yeah. One of the originators. Yeah. Uh, I do bleed purple. So how did I become familiar with Rural Purple? So I guess it was about 22 years ago. Uh, my father, who spent his career, entire career, with a major oil company, may or may not have been in a yellow bottle. Uh, and I was raised on that bottle, so it was gospel around my house. But he actually said, hey, you know, you might want to check this, this little company out on the other side of Houston. So they make some high performance products, and he knew I was, I was getting into motocross, I'd been into drag racing, so he, you know, he knew I was a die-hard gearhead and he said, hey, you might want to look into this stuff, maybe something that, uh, you know, it's right up your alley. So, I uh, began using the product. Uh, I was in the service industry right out of school and uh, used it in my bikes, used it in my cars. Uh, luck would have it, I became friends with somebody that was working there and started working there myself in 1999. So, and the, what I realized very, very quickly is uh, the amount of pride in this company and pride about the performance of their products. Without performance, this brand is nothing, and they know that. You know, they're not a major oil company. They don't have major oil company dollars to do marketing, you know, force it down people's throat. They are surviving on the performance of their products, both on the industrial side, as well as on the consumer side. So there is a, a you know, a relentless pursuit of making the absolute most premium products. And that's just something that's, it's a lot of fun to be involved with a company like that. Roll Purple's most recent formulations exceed valve train protection requirements of the most stringent industry standards for valve train protection by a margin of six. So six times better valve train protection is what we see with our current formulations. So price aside, we're gonna make the best product. And, and oh, by the way, if we can't make it better, we're not gonna make it. You know, we're not in the brake fluid game. We're not in, you know, certain products because, well, there's really no performance to be had. But where we can exceed uh, you know, the, the, the status quo for formulations, whether it be engine oils, gear oils, transmission fluids, what have you, we're going to do it.